So if a scrum master was battling with their team, would you recommend an APS workshop or an agile consultant? I might recommend a new scrum master, right? Because if the scrum master is battling with the team, that doesn't even make sense. They're there to help the team be effective. They're part of the team. Um, if a whole team is battling with them, that then that makes them the asshole, right? I think. I think it does. Um, I guess it would be circumstantial, but that's how I feel. Um, so would, would, would an APS workshop or an Agile consultant be better? What I tend to do as an Agile consultant is is more of a coach the coach, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be there, observe the team, maybe give the whole team advice if that's what's asked for. Um, but I would tend to focus on um, observing and then coaching the scrum master. And if the scrum master is battling the team, maybe that's not going to be effective, right? Um, so probably it depends what the scrum master is battling the team over. So if the scrum master is battling the team, um, like the team, I, I, we, 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 the team are objecting to doing things that could potentially benefit them. It's kind of let the team decide. It's it's meant to be a democratized process, not a dictatorship. So the scrum master can't dictate anything, but perhaps there's some value in helping the team understand more about what scrum, for example, has to offer so that they have more ammunition to make a determination and perhaps they'll make a different determination, right? Because if the team decides not to do Scrum, they, they, they probably shouldn't be doing Scrum, right? Because if you enforce it, they're not going to like it, they're going to push back against it and you're not going to have a good time. It needs to be a, 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 um, a chosen thing. So so what what I might suggest is, yes, an APS workshop, um, treat it as a workshop. Treat it as having 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 fun, right? From their perspective, um, but also from 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 my perspective, they're all going to bring the things, the reasons why Scrum can't work for them. So it's almost like a hybrid. That would for me would be a hybrid situation where I'm going to run an APS, where I may run an APS workshop. But I'm going to treat it very much as a, co a consulting gig that they do want some answers, right? They don't necessarily just want to understand APS. They want to understand APS within the context of their company and their problems and their issues. Because there's no point in just teaching them Scrum if they're vehemently opposed to the idea of anything, anything like that or anything being imposed upon them. So... Um, probably approach it from that perspective that that we're going to use we're going to use the APS curriculum as a way to shape the conversation and hit all of the things that we need to hit. But even at the end at the end of the APS, I've I've mentioned this a couple of times because I I just love uh, this this feature of the APS is af after we've had those conversations right whether it's a standard APS where I've got a bunch of public students and we teach the class, they learn a bunch of stuff about Scrum, but we don't necessarily dive too much into their individual context. Or if it's a, a private gig, like the one that we're describing here, where we're able to spend as much time as we need on their stuff as well and understanding that link because it matters to everybody in the room. At the end of the class, we have this, we have this, this session where... Um, we dive into what should you do, right? There's there's a number of little workshops um, that I can run with the group that's in the room that depends on what the group is. And one of those is a, a kind of getting started with Scrum workshop. Um, one of those is a, a, a tune-up, right? We're already doing Scrum and we need to tune up our process. What should we look at? Um, but we also first have a, a, a kind of set of questions to set them up. And one of those is, should we use Scrum, right? And one of the questions is, what are the reasons we shouldn't use Scrum? What are the reasons we should? What will happen if we don't change what we're doing? 
because those are important questions not for me to answer but for them to answer for themselves do they feel their current way of working is actually working is actually providing value to the customer if 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 not what are they going to do to change? We've just talked for, for four half days about a bunch of tools that they could use to help them change. Are they going to try some of those tools or do you want to try something else if you think those tools won't work? What needs to change in your organization in order for that to be effective? And I think uh, that's probably, probably the way I would approach it. A kind of hybrid APS with some agile consulting in order to help the team make better decisions and you know we need to i need to have a long chat with the scrum master if they're battling the team right thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it please like follow and subscribe i always reply to comments and if you want to have a chat about this or anything else agile scrum or devops then please book a coffee with me through naked agility